Hello all uniquely creative people and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Turquoise. Today I'm going to talk about the books I got to and did not get to for the month of May. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And I'm going to talk, I'm going to go to the books I've actually finished during the month of May. I have some books that I've actually finished this month. So the plans for future for me to get the other books done that I have not got done in quite a while on a day off. I'm just planning on just playing reading or listening to the audiobook while reading to help me get through the books faster. So this way I don't have to um, continue reading them on days that I can't really fit them in. I'm just going to try and do days off reading all day or as much reading as I can on my days off so this way I can fit some reading in and not try to fit it in on days I cannot. So without further ado, I'm going to hop right into it. The first book that I actually finished was Twilight. This is the third time I read this book. Actually I just plain listened to the audiobook because this was the March and May's United book club book, United Books book club book. So I finished the audiobook in one day and basically gave it a second review on the live stream which I'll leave a link down below once I find it. And the second book, oh yeah for those of you wondering what Twilight is about, Twilight is about Bella and Edward, I temporarily forgot his name, uh, meeting up and falling in love and Bella finds out she, he is a vampire. Throughout the story, um, another vampire hunts her down and it's up to Edward and his family to keep her and his, and her father safe. So, uh, oh, and they also get to know one each other a little bit more. That's basically what book one is about. The second book I actually got finished during the month of May is The Worst Book 1 at that place. Uh, the Worst is about six sisters who get framed for terrorist attacks and now they are hiding from the highest bidder, even the king himself, to until they can prove their innocence or until some sort of miracle happens um, that they, a miracle happens that they prove their innocence or something else proves their innocence. So right, so they just hide and basically try not to get caught. And that is basically the summary of the worst at that place. Uh, the books, um, the next one is going to be books I have started and yet to finish. And I've actually started a book that I actually meant to start and leave a review way sooner than what I am doing right now which I'm very sorry Victoria Ring and I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong for not getting to this book a lot sooner um so I'm actually reading it right now called Wild Spirit I was actually a beta reader for this book and I'm actually currently, I've actually started reading this book um, the day before I went to get my COVID-19 vaccine shot and then I kept reading it the, the day of and I'm already a quarter of the way through so I'm very confident I'm going to finish this book soon. So basically Wild Spirit is about a young lady or a teenage girl named Wen Re, no, Wenfred? Yeah, Renfred and her sister Rowan. Basically, Wen is short, short. Uh, goes, to, goes back to her roots, her hometown where her father and her mother met because she is very sick and Throughout the story, she goes through these changes and she finds out a dark secret. I don't want to give up too much away and I'm not too sure how much, how much has changed from what I have beta read. So that's as far as I've gotten with that book, was this one. 
So I'm gonna continue reading it, leave an honest book review, review a video, and Amazon as soon as I finish this book. And that goes same with the worst since I have finished it. The next one I have started and have yet to finish is Celtic Myths and Legends by Peter Bowesford Ellis. This is just a whole bunch of stories, myths, legends, short stories or novel links, uh, different legends and myths from the Scottish, Irish, Welsh, and Cornish mix and Brenton sources area. So that's basically what that was. And this was the very first Unite Book Club book choice. And I still need to finish it. Which I'm hoping to get to soon. And now I'm going to get to the books I have yet to even start. I have yet to start Eclipse, which is book three of the Twilight Saga. More so, I didn't really want to read this book this month. Um, during the month of May because I finished Twilight, which is another reason why I picked up Wild Spirit because I was more interested in that book than Eclipse. And I'm really enjoying Wild Spirit versus Eclipse is book three, The Twilight Sale, which is about Bella and Edward getting back together with a redhead vampire basically creating an army and they, memory serves me right, they have to ask the wolves for help to defeat her. And the leaders of the vampires know that Bella knows about the vampires and they want her to turn into a vampire. So they have set a date. Basically is what happens in this book. And the final book I did not get to during the month of May is Secret Religion, a complete guide to Hermetic, Pagan, and as Alderic beliefs. Basically this is just a learning book about different religions that have basically gone almost extinct and now are coming back in the 21st century instead of Christian, Christian and other old religions kind of stuff. Basically witchcraft is coming back slowly versus like Christian uh, Christians and those other type of religions have been here for an extremely long time are kind of slowly dwindling, dwindling. But they're still very popular, but this explains why the um, witchcraft religion and other religions that have been basically almost extinct are slowly coming back. That's what this one is about from my understanding and that is it thank you for watching click the bell icon and notification button to get notified of all my posts because I try to post videos from Wednesdays to Saturdays sometimes Tuesdays that is temporary at this moment and I try to do a live stream every single day and I do bonus videos all the time so definitely click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts Click the like button, leave a comment down below, and follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook, and Twitch. You can also find me on Discord and NaNoWriMo. Come join the Creative Server Discord group. There you get to meet new people, learn new things, be creative, be yourself, and join a book club if you like. All the links are down below. Also linked down below is my other channel called Blood Phoenix. It is a gaming review reaction channel. If you like those type of things, Links are down below and go check it out. And I hope to see you guys next time. And remember, stay true to yourself and stay unique. Bye!